Hello, and welcome back to another toy photography tutorial. Well, actually, this is going to be more of a behind the scenes walkthrough video of this photo right here. I realize I haven't really done a behind the scenes photo in a while, and I've mainly been concentrating on Photoshop tutorials for this channel. So I thought it'd be a good idea to just do a quick behind the scenes video on how I'm doing my toy photography lately. Also, I've been getting a lot of questions on how I do certain things with my toy photography, and I thought this would be a great way to show you guys and hopefully answer some of those questions that you guys have. So for today's photo, I'm gonna be using a Buzz Lightyear figure, my camera, remote shutter, a tripod, and a couple of lights. So come on and let's go take this photo. So here's a look at the behind the scenes of the Buzz Lightyear shot that I did. Uh, for this shot, I went with a three light setup. So as my main light, I went with my 11 inch uh, moonlight. It's usually my go-to studio light is it provide, it is a great light source. It's a nice big light source and it creates that uh, the soft light for the figures. And then I wanted to do some fill lights because I kind of want to create the spotlight effect. So for my um, to fill in those shadows, I just decided to use two of these small rig uh, panel lights to fill in the shadows. I have one coming from the side and the one filling in the shadows that are generated by the light above. So it's a pretty simple setup. And I had I wanted him to be in a dynamic pose. The story I'm trying to tell is that he's practicing his posing for when Andy comes into his room, comes into his room. And then I have the little army guys, Sarge, kind of directing everybody. Now, a lot of the questions I do get asked is how do I balance my figures in these poses? Well, typically I like to use a copper insulated wire. Uh, this is a 14 gauge wire. Buzz is a little bit heavier of a figure. So I decided to take two, twist time together, and then as a counterweight, I will clamp it to the table and it allows Buzz to stay in the nice dynamic pose, which is great because sometimes I like to do what's called focus stacking. And if nobody knows what focus stacking is, it's just taking multiple uh, photos at uh, different focusing points. I will be doing a video on that later as I use that a lot in my toy photography. It allows me to create those super sharp images. And I decided to just go with a black background there. And that's it. Pretty cool, simple pose. You don't need a lot. So let me show you guys the final results. Let me take this photo. And here we go. And here's the final edited image along with the camera settings that I used for this photo. Well, that's going to do it for today's video. If you guys found it helpful, please give it a like and subscribe for more toy photography tutorials. Also, keep an eye out for the channel as I'll be doing a more detailed video on how to balance your figures with your wire as well as other options out there. If you guys like to go check out some more of my photography work, there'll be a link down in the description to my website so you guys can go check it out. Also, all the gear that I use for my toy photography, as for my YouTube channel, will also be linked down in the description below. If you guys want to have me do any other tutorials or you guys have any other questions you guys have, feel free to leave a comment down in the comment section below and I'll be happy to answer any questions that you guys might have. I'm Brent England with Brent England Photography. Thanks for watching, keep taking photos, and I'll see you guys in the next one.